Hey, welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about arguments and parameters. You'll often hear these words used interchangeably, but they are technically different, but I'll explain all that in this video. So right now we created this function to greet Caleb. Oh gosh, come on, Caleb, get your name right. C Caleb. And th that's cool and all, but like we want this to be able to work with anybody. So anybody signs into our application, or does something, we want to be able to say Caleb or Sabrina or you or whatever it is. So here's what I want to do. I want to invoke this function and pass in a name like so. This here, this is the concept known as an argument when you pass data to it. So just consider greet to be this box that takes in some input and does something magical. We don't have to worry about what's in the box. From this point of view, it's completely separate. Now we can take a look at the inside of the box and we can take that input as name. Now we can take a look at the inside of the box and we can use that argument by creating a variable here. And this is called a parameter. So when you store the arguments inside of the function, inside the little box we're creating, that is known as a parameter. And we can use that in our code. So rather than saying, welcome Caleb, we could actually say, welcome, plus name. All right, let's run this. And it says, welcome Caleb. So it does exactly the same thing, but now it's more versatile. So I can go in here, I can create a few more of these calls and change the names. So we have one for Sabrina and one for Carl. Running this and now we get welcome Caleb, welcome Sabrina and welcome Carl. So that is your introduction to arguments and parameters. Again, arguments are the things you pass to the function. Parameters are the variables on the inside of the function used to store that data. Another thing is you can pass in variables. So for example, I can say name is Caleb and then I could pass in this variable here. 